Elliot Randall talks about more session work this time with the Ronettes and Ronnie Spector and Frankie Valley. Remember, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. You can either buy a t-shirt, make a donation on PayPal, or join our Patreon. Here's Elliot Randall. Speaking of the Ronettes, uh, you, uh, you, did you work with Phil Spector? No. no. You worked, I, I worked it, with Jack Nietzsche. Yeah. <laughs> Because it, it had said that you'd worked with the Ronettes at, at what capacity? Um, 1963 at um, Renee and Rick Allman's, uh, what's it called? It was, it was down on Third Street in the village. Uh, they had a little crazy nightclub that was doing entertainment from 7 p.m. till 4 a.m. And... Uh, I came and did it a couple of times with my trio. And then at one point I get a call from the almonds saying, Hey, we got the Ronettes coming in. Can we have your band back them up? Sure. Okay. So we spent a week backing up the three girls and it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. Uh, it was sort of my first taste of, you know, working with people who were on the verge of becoming stars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I had a wonderful experience the week after that. Right. They had a group called the Capris. They had a, a record called There's a Moon Out Tonight. And I was asked to be the musical director for that. So I did. And then the Capris said to me, hey, we'd like you to be our musical director on the road. Will you come with us? And by this time, I'm like 16 years old. And I'm breaking in. You know, who knew, right? <laughs> so I, I'm learning my skills really early. And it was great. It was really wonderful. Uh, what was Ronnie like, Ronnie Spector? Um, I talked to Eddie Money just a few months before he died, actually. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when he did the, uh, the duet with her, he says, yeah, she just basically was a housewife by then. And she's, she did the little old me, what you want me, you know? And sure. Uh, sure. But what was she like? What was your impression of her? Oh, she was sassy. All three of the girls were sassy. I mean, <laughs> they were what, in their early 20s, maybe, you know, yeah. or just approaching 20-ish. And um, they were having fun. You know, they had all these wonderful gold spangled dresses and stuff that they'd get up on stage, you know, very show busy. And yeah. we just, you know, in, in the, the dressing room, which was really simply the basement of the cafe, uh, um, we would just hang out and have a good time and laugh a whole lot and play R&B music together. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Frankie Valley. Um, uh what was that experience like? He, he, to me, Frankie Valley seems like a character. Well, so does Paul Anka to me on some levels. But Well, <laughs> Frankie is definitely a character. He's a little guy. I mean, in terms of stature, he's short. Um, and it sort of enters into his demeanor. Does that make sense? Yes, I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> but, you know, he's got, a, he's got pipes. Man, this guy's got pipes. And um, I first met him back in the 60s. We were backing up a bunch of bands, and the Four Seasons were one of them. But that was just a, a quick occurrence. Um, my playing on his record was a result of, um, I was working a lot with Bob Crew, the producer. And um, he was producing Frankie's new album, and I was invited to come play on it. And I did, and it was wonderful. It was another one of those three guitar players sitting in a row. Okay, you do this, I'll do that. You do the other thing. <laughs> Crazy. And it worked like a charm. Really worked like a charm. He was a nice guy. He is a nice guy. I mean, he's fun. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, I think, I, I'm not sure. You know, sometimes when two shy people sit together, mm -hmm. not a whole lot gets said. And if you sense that, if, if I sense that somebody's shy, then it brings out my shyness. So really? I remember sitting, yeah, I sat on an airplane with him from New York to L.A., or L.A. to New York, I'm not sure which. Long flight, first class, we're sitting, you know, they're giving us the, you know, the, the roasted nuts and the champagne and all. And I think if we spoke for 15 or 20 minutes during the entire trip, it was a lot. But it, it was nice because we, there was a nice feeling toward each other. Yeah, it's good to be comfortable to be silent. I mean, that's, that's, that's golden in itself. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. We'll have more from Elliot Randall in a couple of days. Remember, he was a session guitarist for Steely Dan, Frankie Valley, 
Paul Lanka, two of the KISS members' solo albums, Gene Simmons, Peter Chris. He worked with the Village People, Richie Havens, Peter Frampton, Yoko Ono, Carly Simon, Carl Wilson, Laura Nero, Kirsty McCall, and many others. Remember, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description. You can make a donation at PayPal, join our Patreon, or buy a t-shirt. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.